Hey guys, what's going on? Good Pie Tutorials here, and welcome to another tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be turning the third-person template into a first-person game. Now, the reasons you may want to do this is for networking purposes. Um, obviously, the first-person shooter isn't the greatest for learning networking, and it kind of looks. The third person includes all the rigs that you need for a decent uh, first-person game. So we'll go ahead and press select the third person, you're going to want to select the save file and create project and we'll just wait for this to start. Alright so now that this is started we're going to go ahead and press play just to identify the problems that we're having. So right now the camera is in a third person mode so um, when we move the mouse it's going to rotate around the player and not change the actual character's uh, view. view and obviously the camera is extended away from the player so those are the two things that we're going to need to change so we'll go ahead and exit out of the game we're going to go into blueprints and my character just in the side tab here we're going to maximize this and we're going to go to the components tab up here and we're going to select the camera and then the camera boom up in the components tab now we're going to scroll down a bit and we're going to find the target arm length and we're going to change this to zero. That's going to bring the camera nice and close to the player and we're just going to drag it up using the transform tool or the gizmo, the move gizmo and we're going to position it just so it's in front of his face. So we're going to compile that and we'll downsize this and we're going to play it in the editor. So right now we've got a pretty decent camera for the first person, but again, if we move the camera around, it's not going to rotate with the player. So we're going to exit that. I'm going to go into the My Character tab again, but this time I'm going to go into the Graph uh, menu. And we're just going to drag out a... We're going to right click on the graph, and we're going to select On Event Begin. Actually, Begin Play. Yeah, Event Begin Play. So we're going to drag a node off this and we're going to s type use controller your and we're going to set this to be true. So let's go ahead and compile that and we'll play this again. Now as you can see as we rotate the mouse the player rotates with it and we have a nice first person template set up. So if this video has helped you in any way please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more videos. See you guys next time.